Hi, my name is Michael Cao, uh, founder and CEO of IC3D. Welcome to our space. Um, just want to give you guys a quick tour of our facility today. Um, so this, we, we are a very vertically integrated 3D printing company. Uh, we design and build our own machines and then produce materials for FFF 3D printing and also do 3D printing as a service. Um, I started this in my basement in 2012. I was working for a, a big uh, corporation, automotive engineering, and wanted to uh, support local manufacturing and uh, help develop and mature 3D printing to do more than just make uh, prototypes and things. And so what we do is we uh, serve a lot of manufacturing companies by making 3D printing jigs and fixtures and certain types of tooling for them um, to make them more competitive, uh, U.S. manufacturing more competitive, and we also do uh, R&D work with for the our uh, DOD, our uh, Department of Defense, which is uh, really fulfilling and, and cool. So, just want to again give you a walking walking tour of our facility here. Um, I'll stop right here in this corner. Uh, this is this is our mission statement here, and. Uh, it is to expand human potential by making manufacturing accessible to all through 3D printing technologies. And so really what that means is uh, in making manufacturing uh, that's traditionally really expensive and not very accessible uh, without a lot of resources and, and connections and things uh, really be available. So, we so whether it's you're a person who's uh, doing the 3D printing yourselves we can help provide materials or you're an inventor and you need uh, maybe you need some help uh, uh, feasing out your design and then uh, designing in such a way that it, it can be 3d printable um, cost effectively and then produce thousands of those we're here to help with that and that's what that means so um, you'll also notice that uh, you probably see and feel that culture is really important for, uh, for us uh, we're a small team of just over 20 people, and so we have to really uh, keep an open mind when we work with our customers and things because um, we because it, it, it still takes a lot of uh, creativity to come up with ideas to solve problems using 3D printing, additive manufacturing. So that's part of why we try to keep it keep it lively and open and. You'll see that uh, it's also very, very clean and organized because it is advanced manufacturing. So please come in. This is the room of manifesting. <clears throat> uh, it's a word we came up with because it is, uh, the idea is basically uh, manufacturing our own manifestations. So it's a mash of those two. <clears throat> so this front section here of uh, the high bay is uh, our 3D printing service. So <clears throat> as you can see back here, we have a couple dozen desktop printers of various types. So desktops we purchase off the shelf and we modify uh, and, and pretty much keep them busy daily. Um, and then over here, we've got our medium sized machines. So this is the Virago class machine. We call it the Virago 700. Uh, the build volume is a uh, little over two foot cube, which is uh, about 600 by 700 by about a little over 700 millimeters tall. Um, again, we've designed and built these in-house and we also sell these as a product. So these uh, six machines you see behind me are running uh, in our service bureau. And then we've got more machines here that are uh, in line to be customer machines. And then behind Behind these, you see a bit larger machines. They're about a four foot cube build volume. And so those are just running in our printing service, running, again, large prototypes, jigs and fixtures, and things like that for our customers. Um, on a side note, we are designing the next generation of our that large class of machine right now. So back here, Oh, there's, here's a couple more machines. Uh, some of our team members building, building those. You can see some electrical panels getting built. And then, um, so here, 
back here is where we make filament. So you'll see, you see uh, two plastic extrusion lines and the process really starts down there at that end and those large cardboard boxes are, they're called Gaylords and it's uh, plastic resins and we have both virgin resins as well as recycled materials. Um, <clears throat> and, and additionally, uh, what we're doing is we also have a grinder back there where we can take uh, scrap filament out of spec materials. We can take a support structure, failed prints and things like that um, and grind them up into this stuff. We also have a couple customers where we're taking um, the uh, 3D prints that we do for them and once they're done with using them, they send them back and we also grind that up and, and use that as a feedstock. So I'll uh, get you a little close up of this. This is PETG regrind. You can see kind of what that looks like. So uh, just the real basics about the process. We take those pellets and then we feed them in the extruders on that end. Um, well, after we dry them in these desiccant dryers and then they will uh, come down through this line as a plastic strand and then they'll get uh, cooled and, and dried and then wound on these larger spools. So once these spools are full, they're 10 kilograms. And you can see the, some finished products on the wall back there. From the two and a half kil kilogram spools, boxes, the one kilogram and then the 10 kilogram units. So uh, to, to convert the 10 kilogram spools uh, to the smaller spools, uh, we do that right here on this uh, re-spooling operation here. Uh, you can see this machine work. It'll automatically stop whenever it's full. And then we also, back here, do all of our packaging and fulfillment. And uh, then it goes out to, to you all. Um, we probably consume uh, about 20% of what we produce in-house in our print service. And then the rest of it uh, goes out the door to uh, e-commerce. You can find our products now in micro centers across the U.S. Uh, we're also on DigiKey, so, uh, which helps a lot of businesses get our products. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that little tour, and we really look forward to working with you. Thank you very much.